Hey y'all, Kai here. How are you? Well, today I want to talk to you about sisterhood heals. The transformative power of healing in community by Joy Harden Bradford, PhD. So Joy Harden Bradford is the founder of Therapy for Black Girls. So this book was magnificent. It was one of the best I've read in a long time. And let me tell you why. Um, I've been looking for a book that was about friendship and sisterhood. And this book was soul food. I can't, I can't ask for a better book to be written. Um, the book explores one, it goes back into our ancestral roots back in Africa to see, you know, what sisterhood looked like to our ancestors. And then it takes us to current studies and present day dynamics. You know, it explores, definitely spends a lot of time on how our childhood, how our upbringing, how we observe our mothers and our aunties and our grandmothers interact with friends and be sisters to one another and how that impacts how we are as friends, right? But it also explores maintaining relationships um, through different changes, uh, marriage, career, grief, and even having children. It talks about um, meeting new friends, you know, not necessarily um, just maintaining relationships, but how do we uh, garner new friendships you know i know drake was pushing the whole no new friends things but there's power in meeting new friends at different um points and how do you navigate the situations where you want to integrate your new friends with your other friends or just find new friends you know it has like really great tips and tools for navigating that it navigates um you know how to be a friend on social media or a sister on social media how we should interact with others but one of the most interesting concepts that i got from this book was uh the the idea that we are sisters to even strangers to even the women that we don't know and how we can interact and and continue to embrace sisterhood with women we don't know how we can just give a compliment or sit next to them at a meeting or what have you to just showcase that we are all in this together and this book was extremely powerful it has studies it has tools it has tips it left nothing unturned every time i thought the author would forget something uh-uh i don't know why i thought that because she hit every note there was no stone left unturned with this book. One of my favorite chapters of this book was chapter six, which is entitled Sisters Over Systems. And what I loved about that chapter is it acknowledged the systems of white supremacy or just racial um, oppressive systems that are at play that may impact sisterhood. And, and instead of blaming your fellow sister we can start redirecting the energy towards the systems um it was a very interesting um topic because it touched on um workplace sisterhood and i think that's super important to address especially as we're all trying to navigate and get ahead uh how we can become and continue to uplift our sisters even in the workplace the author shares an example in that chapter of her assistant when she was brand new to a role she had an assistant who was older than her and so the chapter talks about generational um nuances when it comes to sisterhood and she had a assistant who was older than her and the assistant could have chose to be like ah you know you're just this young thing i'm not gonna respect you i've been here longer but the assistant chose sisterhood the assistant chose to ensure that this new younger boss was set up for success and i love that example i love that chapter there's so many gems in this book y'all um i have so many earmarks because i don't ever want to not come back to this book what i also loved about this book is that it had um questions so 
it had like reflective questions at the end of each chapter about three or four where you can think about and journal and write about some of the topics and themes that was coming up and so i really um enjoyed that so i'll, I'll share with you an example question for reflection what signs do you think indicate that a friendship is over if you've ever had the experience of ending a friendship what let you know that it was over so those are the type of questions obviously there are some really deep hard topics to talk about including the grief that comes when a friendship is no longer working or serving you um i also love that the author she shared pop culture moments in this book so there were a lot of moments where um Issa Rae and molly came up or girlfriends joan maya tony and lynn came up and I was in my glory because how can you talk about friendship without talking about those cultural pop culture moments and sitcoms that help shape the way we even look at friendship, right? So this book was a 10 out of 10. I absolutely adored it. Please pick it up. I have a confession. I am not a fan of um, book clubs like that. I don't really do book clubs. And um, I know that's weird because I love books, but I, I haven't really found my club yet. And, um, you know, I really am like so tempted to start a book club just off of this book. Or if y'all know of any book clubs that is discussed in this book, I would happily join because it was soul food. I said that before. I'm going to say it again. It was good all right y'all um that is my review on sisterhood heels i will talk to y'all later bye